Navigating the NCASE environment. In this guide, we will explore the NCASE interface, we will look into key areas and shortcuts, and how to customise NCASE. Navigate to the NCASE icon and double click. This is the main page you'll see when you enter NCASE. You have some options in the middle. You have your recent cases. Here is an example one called Test. You can start a new case or open an existing one and also get into options and some more help options at the bottom. For this example, I will go into our test case. In the later guides, we will create this test case and you can follow the process. The next page allows you to change the options and search within this case. You can add evidence and process it, as well as search and see the results. We will now click on the View tab at the top and then navigate down to Evidence. This screen is now showing us the evidence that is inside the case. In this top pane here, we can see our evidence, Clyde's HDD. If we double click on this evidence, another pane will appear. This here is a tree pane, which contains a directory of the evidence. On the right here is the table pane, which shows the contents of what is selected in the tree pane. And at the bottom here is the filter pane, which breaks down whatever is seen in the table pane and in different tabs. Let's show an example. Navigate to the tree pane, and we can see some folders. If we go in further, Here we have a doc doc file. If we click on it in here, in the bottom pane, we can work out when it was last accessed and when it was created. We can navigate across the top and see it in different ways. This contains all the text, but it's a little hard to read. If we go to dot doc, we can now see it a lot easier. There is also permissions, which allows you to see who has access to this particular file. If we go back to the table pane, there are different ways you can view this data. At the moment, it's in a table view. You can also see in the timeline view, so which file was created earliest or the latest, and also a gallery view. As there's no pictures in that particular folder, no pictures will appear here. Here are some pictures in here, as we can tell by the file extensions. If we go back to the gallery view, we can see thumbnails of all these pictures. If you want to go back to the starting page, but still keep this page open, it has a tab at the top. You can click on Home, and we're back to where we started. Evidence is still open up here, and it's very easy to click on. If you want to start a new case, there's also a shortcut up at the top by clicking on case test and then having clicking on new case. You can also close this case and save it. On the view tab, there are different things you can view within the evidence. You can see results and records and also some bookmarks you can make. A lot of the MCase interface is customizable. If you want to move this bar down, you can simply drag and drop. You can also see different panes in the split mode here. If you want just the tree, you can just have the tree and the filter pane together. The tree table pane view is a standard view. If we go into tools and go down to options, there are a few options here that we can change in our case and within NCASE. We can change how often it saves the case, so we don't have to keep worrying about saving it ourselves. If we go into colours, we can change different panes to different colours that we would like. Moving on to date tab, we can change a different date format and settings, whatever you feel you would like. Remember, once you're finished with NCASE, always save the case you are on by going to Case Test and clicking Save. To summarise this guide, we learnt the key areas of NCASE interface, 
We explored the options available and looked into customising in case.